Hello, this is Kaylin Huntress, and today I'm going to show you how I organize content in Google Docs. Uh, this is a process that I do so quickly, I don't even realize that I'm doing it. I just want to walk through it with you. Um, I have to outline a lot of content for um, a membership site. And as I'm doing it, what I do is I just sketch out in a bullet list every page that I need to create. And then I make each of these a page in Google Docs. So I've got home, I've got welcome, and these are all H1s. You can use, on my Mac, I use command option one to just turn it into H1, and then it shows up here in the outline view. To see the outline view, you go to view, show document outline, and you can get right in there. And I find this really useful. For instance, I see um, up at the top when I go to the overview that I need between Facebook and bonuses, I have to have something here for Facebook group or for, uh, for curriculum. And I need these 16 bullets. I need a page for each one of these. And so I'm going to go down to Facebook group. And then down below it, I'm going to hit Command Enter to start a new page. And I'm going to call this Curriculum. And then hit Command Option 1, make it an H1. And look, it shows up right here in my sidebar. And so now I'm going to hit Enter and Paste. And that whole bullet list is here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these off of bullets and away from the indent, and I'm going to make each one of these a page. Uh, with my cursor at the front, I'm going to hit Command Enter for a page, Command Option 1 to make it Heading 1, and then hit Down, Command Enter, Option 1, Command Enter, Command Option 1. And I just go through the list, doing these 16. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to decide on my template content, the stuff that I need in each one. I'm going to need a headline, a featured image, um, an intro, a body paragraph, uh, you know, everything that I'm going to need in each one. I'm just going to probably write the first one and then see what it was that I made and make a template from that. And then I'm going to paste that template into each one of these pages. So then I can come back here and just fill in the blanks. So this is how I sketch out a whole lot of content for big membership sites. Hope you found this useful.